How's it going, guys? So, uh, Dave was pretty much dead, so I'm getting a couple recording recordings, because, uh, I'm kind of in a good mood. So, a lot of things have changed. As you can see, now we're not using the Act 2 Mercenary. Uh, the reason why we're not using the Act 2 Mercenary is because he was lagging behind way too goddamn much, and me continuously getting mobbed up, and my Mercenary being 10 miles down the goddamn road was not helping me out. So, uh, we changed a lot of our equipment up. For as our as our paladin right now, we're basically using IK armor. Now it seems a little weird to put barbarian gear on a paladin, but because of all the bonuses that I'm actually going to get with him, uh, we're doing like 869 damage, and we definitely changed up a lot of a lot of stuff. But uh, Mortal Kings <clears throat> is one of the most um, easiest armors to wear. As long as you have the 110 strength, because it gives you uh, bonuses extremely early on in the game, and also depending on your character too, especially if you're using some like a strength strength build type of character class, you know, your barbarian, you know, you might do something like a war with druid, even a paladin. In this case, barber, uh, I came. It's gonna be a really good set. Uh, we're using Serpentine Magi. Oh, <sighs> I'm like out of breath lately. They don't want. Uh, mostly because it gives me the resistances of 29 and the, the one to extra skills. So you can see we have basically max out resistances as it is. Um, switched out basically cyberbs in Aurelia. Is it Aurelia or what the hell one we were using? Um, so I gave him this one because of the 10 uh, attributes and stuff like that. So it gives him that little extra stat boost. Uh, using Rockstopper for that increased health, for the, the increased resistances. Uh, this is a shield that I made back like a long time ago when I was playing my sorceress. Because uh, these type of shields. Here, uh, my glasses are over here. Apologize for breathing in the mic like that. I'm like, like I said, for some reason, I've been out of breath all goddamn day. And I don't know why. I think it's a low on oxygen. We have a storm coming in too, so that's probably reason why. Uh, basically, Moser's Blessed Circle is one of the best earliest shield you can actually get because it automatically comes with two sockets and I think it's like 30 something resistances and uh but I slapped like two uh, perfect diamonds in there which is like resistances of like 18 uh you can stick two um runes in there if you want to which are requirement level 25 uh I think they're 25 I don't remember but they give you 25 resistance so uh you want to do that way too you can have a little more higher stats but I uh, wouldn't recommend it because Umbrooms are such a rare item to get. I'm trying to pace myself here. <laughs> and then we're using uh, Col uh, Cold Steel Eye. And the reason why I switched out this weapon for um, instead of using Cyverbs is because uh, not only gives you that 50% deadly strike, but it also gives you that 6 mana and percent stolen per hit. Which basically kind of solves a lot of our mana problems going against normal enemies. I noticed when I was going against like heavy unique enemies, my mana would still drain pretty quickly because I'm constantly whacking at them. But um, with normal enemies, like I just instantly pretty much get all my ma uh, mana back anyways. So there's that. And then I basically gave her Serpentine Magi. I uh, gave her a random circular just because it has that 18 to 49 fire damage. And then I gave her uh, Storm Strike because it uh, not only does it has the piercing, but has that high lightning resistance to it. You know, that extra 1 to 30 lightning damage. 90% uh, 90, 90 enhanced damage, but mostly because of the pierce. Because uh, it will allow her to actually shoot multiple arrows instead of just focusing on one target that's surrounding me. It will allow her to actually shoot multiple enemies at the same time. Now, I did mark uh, outer, uh, outer steps because I was trying to grind my paladin. I wasn't getting crap with the experience here. <sighs> Ooh, damn, all uh, I think it's because most of them are too high of a level either. Because uh, once you reach Act 4, you want to be at least 24, 25, and I'm already level 31. And at around my level, I should already be in Act 5. You know, so uh, the experience, I doubt it's going to be very good. But, um... Pretty much got all my inventory maxed out with all the charms I'm going to want. Uh, any charms or crap like that, jewels and rings, I'm not really going to bother with because it's just not worth it. Um, 
Oh yeah, and uh, Holy Shock because of the Substance Magi. It's at level 8 right now, so uh, even on player 7, it barely tickles enemies for the damage, but that's where Vengeance comes into play. So uh, I pretty much let enemies surround me and then uh, let my mercenary poke them down to see how much lightning damage actually does. And frankly, it's not a lot. And then again, I'm also on player 7 too. Like I said, players one, I'd probably be one or two shot in these enemies with the amount of lightning that I do. At least the weak ones. And I also saw the thing in studio mode too, so I can just keep track of everything. But I managed to rack up like, uh, maybe 14,000 in gold. Just from all the charms and stuff like that I have. And I do apologize for the volume in the, uh, was it Lift video, the Lift movie trailer uh, video? Uh, didn't realize until I actually got the recording in that, uh, the YouTube uh, video volume was actually, like, all, almost all the way down. So I do apologize for that. But I didn't go any didn't go, did not go past uh, the after steps. So, uh, it's basically just going to be hunting down uh, his wall. And then what I'll probably do is I'll probably just uh, the next video will immediately be in like near flame because there's no point in capturing sending in the dam and just wasting a bunch of time for that. And of course, the I wanted to use uh, spirit, but because of, here's all the spirit shields that I have, they're all requirements of level 41 because I have them all in the uh, like uh, royal shields. Look at this, and just that requirement alone is like 40, I think. But because I'm being upgraded to a burning word, you have to by like 10 more levels. So I won't be using spirit for quite a while if I manage to get it, get it even in this video. I've been uh, playing Fallout and I uh, beat Fallout 3 and going through good karma in like 81 hours and now I'm doing the evil side and because with the first time doing it I pretty much just used any gun I came across in that game now I'm strictly uh, going small guns only, so basically like small pistols and uh, SMGs, like kind of like strictly into what I actually use, and going um, science so that I can use terminals and crap like that. And let me tell you, it is not easy, especially when you start coming across like the Talon Clan, which are like maybe mid-tier level enemies in that goddamn game. And they were just wrecking me. I mean, the, the good side about it is with using small small firearms is that your carrying weight is actually small, but pistols and stuff like that do not do enough damage early on in the game, so you kind of like really struggle. <laughs> I've died like maybe five or six times, but I don't know. I kind of like Fallout 3, and uh, I'm picking up Fallout 3 Vegas too. But as you can see, basically our mana is like just instantly regenerates almost. When I'm not actually missing the goddamn enemies. And I know with Isbal, I'm gonna have to use some potions and stuff like that, but. What the hell is my accuracy with you guys? 92%. Well, that explains the reason why I'm missing quite a bit then. Small germ. Over here, this is Thursday's going good. 
I got like three more days and I get like next week is uh, Thanksgiving week for me so I can get the entire week off. And by doing that I pretty much posted it on my Twitter and I don't remember if I said anything about it in the videos, but uh, all of next week we're basically going to be posting videos for Diablo 2. So we're going to basically gonna try to knock out this playthrough or walkthrough in the matter of next week. And I because this one taking up one video and then Diablo taking up another. That's two videos right there, so it's basically a Monday and Tuesday video. And then um I don't know soul I swear. This one's gotta be I don't know, let's see, there's gotta be one button since the guy in One second. Souls are another thing that you gotta really worry about, especially in health difficulty, and I've always talked about them too. Souls and Stitching Dolls. But souls are basically kind of like Stormcasters and uh, Aspirations and Ghosts and Spectres like that. Uh, deadly to a sorceress because they will drain your mana. And that's one of the things that gets the sorcerers killed teleporting out here is that instant mana burn that they'll do to you. And then they pretty much just start whacking you with lightning. There he is. Uh, but yeah, so I figured it'd be like. Maybe we'll get to the Chaos Sanctuary. Because we're at 11 minutes right now, so we'll kill him and then it'll fade over to Chaos Sanctuary. And then uh, we might be able to fight Diablo? That's a big if. Because I'll basically end the recording here and then we'll, uh, pick it up. A certain amount of time that we left after we kill his boy. So we might be able to get Diablo into one video too. If that's the case, then we'll definitely shoot the uh, all of them. Um, this rest of the plate. Uh, Thursday will not be a video because that's Thanksgiving. And uh, I have family coming over. So that'll probably be the only day that we'll be having an actual video. And Terrio was technically full. For, I think, what Terrio is what? Might or Justice? I think it's Justice. Hello. But it's like Terrio trusted him, and like the angels uh, trusted Malthiel and stuff like that, so it's like, y'all don't have your shit together. Thank you, you. Because Malthiel is the angel of wisdom, and, uh, yeah, look how that turned out. So we can't level this up. Uh, well, let's get this maxed out. Uh, eight ninety five. It's almost nine hundred damage. Not bad. And I'm not gonna worry about uh, Hellforge with that. So basically, what I'm, just, I'm recording here, and then it'll immediately fade over to Chaos Sanctuary, and then um, we'll pretty much fight Diablo. Let's see how that goes. All right, stay tuned. All right, guys, we're back. I'm gonna get a drink here real quick. So you didn't miss out much. I remember just cleared out all chaos. That's the one thing I I'm just not a big fan of YouTube, and Twitch is starting to do the same thing too. You can't add music into your videos anymore because it automatically gives you copyrighted claims. Copyrighted claimed. And I got some nice jams I would love just to put in like a grind session video just for you guys to rock out with and rock out the same music that I listen to. But immediately, I know if I do that, it's like either going to get instantly blocked or it's going to get instantly copyrighted claimed or whatever, copyright strike or some crap like that. That's one of the most annoying ass things with goddamn YouTube. I'm just like just chilling and clearing out chaos and it's just like. Really wish you guys could listen to this music too. I think we missed a thing over here. And mm, I can say one thing. I'm glad I have Holy Shield because, uh, damn, they were hitting me with like a lot of goddamn poison and crap like that. But, uh, we got about six minutes roughly, so we're gonna pretty much fight the yellow. Not even death can save you from me. Alright, see so what you got, buddy. Mark's dead. Oh no, he's not. Sean. Not she got hit by that, I think. Mm, be dead. Oh no, 
Oh, he's like off in the little side corner right there, so he should basically miss most of his spells against him. I might really get a little bit of like high in this video too. So be I'll give you that. <laughs> you can see he's barely putting a dent in my health whatsoever. And grand total 432 out of 571, so roughly about 140 health he pretty much knocked off of me. Not that much. Um Max block rate is 75 percent he was hitting me for 53 <laughs> percent so he was he was just barely building the manage to hit me whatsoever that was 81 percent to hit Diablo and we still beat him uh Vil does boots and the rest is pretty much garbage and since we can't sell anything and magic collect like 36,000 gold in chaos sanctuary which is like when most of all your charms are basically all cons just like bonus to gold I mean, I'm not really too worried about gold. Hail to you, champion. So we'll get uh, some. We're looking at here. Three minutes in. We maybe might have no time to get shank if we run past everything. And then we can just end the video there. Yeah, because. Uh, this is pretty much the faded over part to it, so. Uh, the one thing I was going to say is if you're struggling with the Paladin, especially against like Diablo and you're running out of potions, and um, and you don't really want to have to travel back to that, uh, back to the Pandemonium, you can actually use uh, Redemption here, and it basically absorbs all the enemy corpses that are already dead, and... Um, it's actually really nice to have as a backup. My nose is like really itchy. Goddamn allergies. Damn right, good buddy. But yeah, this will be one recording here. I'm just gonna run past all you idiots because you're just not worth my time. Get the hell out of goddamn way, way little shit. Okay, so we're already starting off on a bad run here. We might go. We got two minutes to try to get the shank. Oh, hell. Oh my god, anyway. So we'll probably just kill shank and then we'll end the video there. My goddamn LA traffic. Get the hell out of my goddamn way. Trust me, you do not want to live in LA either. It's like one of the worst cities you can live, possibly live in. Expensive as hell, too. If you're a new player, I highly recommend you pretty much clear out all of like this beginning area before you fight Shank. He's simple to fight if you're like fully geared like I am, but uh, if you were just struggling in Act 4 and you come in in Act 5, you're, you're going to struggle even more. Uh, Shank can be somewhat intimidating because of all the enemies that surround him. But uh, he can hit like a Mack truck if you're not careful. So uh, even on normal difficulty, I wouldn't recommend underestimating Shank. Buddy. 
And you're dead. And that's right. Uh, yeah, especially like on health difficulty, you'd be surprised how hard Shane can actually hit. Paragoth is free of your kind, demon. And that's where we're in the recording there, because it's like already pushing past bedtime anyways. Or the fans can be going to bed, and I don't want to be too loud. But uh, either way, it's been staying safe, healthy as Antis. If you have any questions about the walkthrough or something like that, um, or any of my walkthroughs or any of the characters I've ever actually played on for the Diablo thing. Um, leave yeah. comments below and make sure you check them all out. Um, that's about it. So, hope you guys are Thursday's going good. And like I said, uh, we should be able to knock out the rest of this uh, walkthrough sometime either, most likely next week. And like I said, there's going to be no video on Thursday because that's Thanksgiving. So if you live in America, you know, and uh, after that, if we do manage to beat it before Thanksgiving... Uh, there's a few games I'm going to test out, and then we'll see how, how we'll proceed from there, but, um, that's about it. <laughs> I'll see you guys.